going on folks? You're watching Boss Survival. Today we're gonna build ourselves a spring pole fishing trap. Check out my friend here. Gonna fill in some of these gaps. <laughs> Almost! Oh, Almost! Definitely not easy. No, not at all. Uh, very nice. Back with nutrients. I got my four pieces that I need. You got this piece that is gonna be used to spring up. You have one piece that is gonna be tied to some paracord to that other piece. It's gonna do a little bit of something, something. This piece actually, we're gonna stake into the ground and then we're going to tie this to the stake in order for us to get some action. So let's get this started. All right, the first thing you wanna do is you wanna sharpen this end. Take yourself a rock. For the next step, we will attach this and tie paracord around it. So obviously if this isn't deep enough into the ground and strong enough, this thing's just gonna pull out. You don't want that. For obvious reasons, you gotta tie it really, really good. It's so important for this piece to be nice and strong, so that's why I kinda overdid it with the tying. Because I don't want this thing to shift. And I want it to be very, very, very strong. Okay. Cool. That'll work. Listen to them going crazy. That's frogs, right? Yeah, that's definitely frogs. It's amazing. I've been seeing them jumping into the water, getting scared by me as I'm walking and stuff. This is big old guys. I wonder if I'm in the mood for frog legs. I'm gonna carve a stake into this guy right here, into one end, because that needs to stick into the ground. If that was a human making that noise, I'd wanna kill him. A lot of people are out right now with the pandemic, because we can't take it. We're human beings, we're like dogs, as in we're pack animals. But I'm trying to spend most of my time in the forest, as I have always kind of been. So this works out okay for me. Okay, so what we want to do, I'm going to make this piece a little smaller. And then I'm going to carve a notch right here. Carve a notch to this piece. And we shall have success. <laughs> That's good enough. Try to make this as straight as possible. I don't have my favorite knife on me. Carve yourself one of these guys. Now we're gonna take our little friend and we are going to try to pop it pretty close to the water. That's nice and strong. Yeah. So now we got to attach some paracord onto this fella. All right. Tie that guy. Measure it up a little bit. So you don't want it to have any slack. You need this to be nice and tight. Test this before we cut the piece off. Oh yeah. Okay, 
I got my hands protecting my face in case this thing goes off. But this thing is ready. Now I got to attach some fishing line and a hook, some bait, and let's demonstrate this thing. As a rule of thumb, every time I tie fishing line to a hook, I always at least give it three knots to make sure it's strong enough. So we've got our line and our hook. Got to get the bait. I think I just heard coyotes. The wilderness is alive tonight, man. Tie the fishing line. Sometimes you'll get the urge to rush because you want to try it out. But I have to slow down so that way I do it right. So we cast this thing, make sure you don't get tangled up. Okay. Set it. be careful that you don't slip in the water like I just did. Oh, I'm soaked. Uh, that's frustrating. That'll happen to you. And you'll come up with your own personal grunt. Alright. Alright. You can set yourself a bunch of these traps overnight or over time. And it's relatively easy, doesn't take too much work, and then it can increase your chances of getting some more food. So let's demonstrate this thing going off, and then I'm gonna pop it back in the water. So hopefully, a fish would have caught on to that, and bam, you'd wake up to some nice fish, or come back to some nice fishies. So I wanna thank you guys for watching, Make sure you like and subscribe, and I'm going to continue fishing. Maybe I'll catch something, maybe I won't.